no tricks are strange. Are you coming to get me? What's up guys and ghouls? How you doing? Happy Halloween! By the way, check out my awesome Daria pajama set. No shame in my game. If you couldn't tell by the title, I am going to be showing you how to create a full Bellatrix Lestrange costume. I know this is very last minute, but maybe this will give you some ideas for conventions or for Harry Potter world or even for Halloween next year. So to start off, we are gonna do our makeup. I have already applied my foundation and I chose a shade that is one shade lighter than my normal skin tone since Bellatrix is very pale. However, I will say this, we are completely skipping concealer. No concealer will be used at all. Do not put any concealer on your face. Only use foundation and then we move on to the next step. So one of the reasons that we didn't use concealer is because we want the natural darker shade and bags under our eyes to kind of shine through for this tutorial. So Bellatrix has a very sunken looking face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on our contour and we're going to build it. So we're gonna start with a lighter shade and build to a darker shade. It's very hard to come back from a bad dark contour, but it's very easy to build onto a currently existing contour, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it does, but we're just gonna go. So I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm gonna start with this lighter color right here, just so I can kind of shape out the lines on where I need to start building some contour, and we'll go from there. Easiest thing to do, make that kind of face, and then follow the line. Normal makeup application tip, you should never go past like halfway down your cheek. You should never contour down towards your mouth because it makes you look older. Um, so usually I stop like right here when I'm contouring, but for Bella, we're going all the way down. So now the next step is to start deepening this contour. So I'm gonna use the darkest color here and I'm gonna change to an angled brush and I'm gonna contour against this line right here. At this point, it's just a ton of blending out. So using this rounded brush right here, I'm going to take the lightest contour color, which is the one in the middle here, and I'm gonna put it right on the inside of my nose and curve down under my eye. I'm gonna swipe over that a few times, and remember what I said, you want to build it. You don't wanna go in with like a ton of color at first and have to fix it. It's so much easier to build the color up. So, inside of the nose, swipe out. I'm gonna take just a buffing brush that has nothing on it and I'm going to buff this so that it starts to blend into the skin. You don't wanna create a line where you see the product. You want it to all look flush. See how that kind of blends a little better so it doesn't look like we had like a, a distinct line here. We just want it to blend in with the rest of our skin. Now we're moving on to the Tartlet palette here. I love this palette because it's just a bunch of neutral matte shades. Using this palette, we're first gonna go in with the shade Multitasker and we're just going to gently pat that on our eyes. The thing about Bellatrix is that she does not have good makeup. Like it looks like it was kind of just like thrown on or maybe it's makeup from like a week ago. It's good news for people who struggle with blending colors and creating looks on their eyes. Now that we have that brown base, we're gonna go in with the color Bombshell, which is like an almost dark purple. Firstly, we're gonna dab it right here on our eyes. I don't know what that's called, so I'm just showing it to you. And then using a shadow blending brush, I'm gonna blend that out. She almost seems to have some like discoloration right here in her eyes, so. Okay, so now using that same Bombshell color, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna pat that on the outer corner of our eyes. And remember, like I said, it's okay if it's messy, we're gonna blend it. Okay, so same blending brush, we're gonna go in and we're just gonna blend that together with the brown. And then our final eye shade that we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little bit of this black called Fashionista, but any black works. And we're gonna just pat that on very, very messily. I don't think that's a word. I don't know if it is. Okay, see how 
bad that is. And then we're going to take our blending brush and instead of blending in circular motions, we're actually going to blend it by dabbing it. Now I'm going to take some mascara and I'm going to very lightly just add some. Uh, for most of the photos that I've seen of Bellatrix, it looks like she has a tiny bit of mascara, but she does not have any eyeliner. So we're just going to put the smallest amount of mascara on. And from the photos that I've seen, it looks like she does have some on the bottom as well. So, so with this look, there's a lot of fallout that kind of creates like a bronzed look on our face. So we want to get rid of that bronzy look. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a complexion brush here. And I'm going to dip into this lightest shade back in my Shade and Light palette. And we're just going to apply that in between our contour in a buffing motion. Now using a translucent powder, I'm just going to set all of this. So Bellatrix has a, like kind of a gross look to her lipstick. It, again, it looks like it's been on for seven days. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to layer. Um, I'm going to first use this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the color Sookie. And I'm going to very messily put it on my lips. I'm going to even be overdrawing a little bit. And I'm not going to fill it in completely. I just want it to look very messy. Okay, so there, <laughs> there's our very messy application. And so now I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color Viper. And I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of color on the top of that because her lips are kind of like a weird, almost like a dark red, but like very faded and very messy. So I want it to have some dimension to it. So this will partially dry down and partially still remain glossy, which is kind of like the look that her lips have, so that works out good. So this is our finished Bellatrix makeup, and now I'm going to move on to the wig. This is the wig that I have for Bellatrix. Um, I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to kind of tie it back in her typical hairstyle. If you're interested in purchasing this wig, I will leave a link down below. This was sent to me for review purposes, so I didn't actually pay for this wig, um, but I'm also not getting paid to tell you about the wig. So, um, like I said, if you're interested, check it out. I'll have a link down below. It is a lace front wig, so I'm gonna go put this on and I'll be right back. Okay, wig is on. So, the one thing I will tell you guys is that I am not good with applying like lace front wigs. Um, so I have it on, but I feel like it looks pretty obvious that it's a, well, it, I mean, obviously it is a wig. Either way, Bellatrix wig is on. I probably could make this look a little bit more bunchier up here. So we have the wig on, now we need the costume. Well then. Like I said, please ignore the fact that I'm not good at doing wigs in the front, but this is my Bellatrix costume. Um, I have my wand that I obviously got from Harry Potter World. I have this costume that I got from rosegal.com, and I think it was like less than $20, and it's like the perfect Bellatrix outfit. Has the cutout sleeves, eyes in the front with the bodice, it has like this like spider web thing, but like it's all cut like crazy. It's like the perfect Bellatrix outfit. By the way, this was my hack. I used this to grab all of this hair and kind of bunch it up in front. There. <laughs> that's, that's what I did. Um, but yeah, so Bellatrix costume, last minute, kind of cool. I'll have all of the stuff linked down below. I'm pretty sure that you can buy the wands from Wizarding World online. I'll link the costume, I'll link the wig. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Bellatrix transformation. I will most likely be wearing this to cons and or if I go to Celebration of Harry Potter. So, yes. But, uh, yeah. I will see you guys later. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I killed Sirius.